Whitney Hayworth here with the Sun Belt Conference, joined today by Georgia Southern Baseball's head coach, Rodney Hennon. Coach, obviously a very different time for us, like I just mentioned before we started this interview. You know, you and I typically talk on the baseball field at the, the conference championship, but we're both working from home at this point in time. Obviously, what does this time mean for you and kind of what are the motions you're working through at this point? Well, obviously, uh, uncharted waters for, for everyone, uh, literally. Uh, I mean, this is a once-in-a-lifetime event um, for all involved. And, um, you know, just trying to make the most of the time. Most of all, just try to, trying to stay positive. And, uh, you know, one thing that we talked about with our guys when all this happened and, and uh, you know, we kind of sent them on, on their own separate ways, most of them back to their homes, obviously. Uh, just try to focus on the things that, that we can control uh, right now. You know, we all miss the normalcy of, of our routines. Uh, I, I looked up early this morning, the, the weather in Boone, we would have been at App State today, and it, it was sunny and 55 in Boone. So, Kermit, they got nice weather up there today. Uh, always great when you get that kind of weather in Boone. But, you know, really, um, just try to stay in a routine, stay busy. Um, I know my wife's had a few things for me to do around the house. Uh, cleaned out the garage, I think, that first Saturday uh, that, that I was home. And for us, we, we have two kids in college. Uh, they're back home, so it's been nice having our family together. I think we've, we've appreciated uh, having that time together that we wouldn't normally have as much of. Um, but certainly we all miss the normalcy of, of things, but it, I, I do think it puts things in perspective uh, for, for all of us. Obviously, people are, <clears throat> are affected by this disease and, and uh, the people on the front lines that are having to fight it, deal with it every day. We, we try to keep them in, in our thoughts and in our prayers and, um, you know, people that, that maybe have lost jobs uh, right now as well. So, you know, you want to think about those folks and, and keep them in our prayers and, and stay positive and understand that we'll, we'll all get through this. And, and at some point, things will get back to normal and we'll all be doing the things we love again. So we'll kind of go back and forth a little bit here between what was normal and, and the new normal now. For you guys, I mean, you were playing some of your best baseball up until until everything was canceled. The last few games that you had, you had a three game series versus number three, Georgia. You swept them, uh, you know, obviously. What had you learned about your team at that point in time and what was impressing you the most? Well, I think going into the season, we, we had an older, more experienced group and, and we were very optimistic uh, about our team. Um, you know, we had a tough weekend early against a very good East Carolina team, our first road series on the road. Uh, they were competitive games, but we came up, <clears throat> excuse me, on the wrong end. And I, I think we learned a lot from that series when we got back, some things that we learned. Uh, and our, our kids responded in, in a positive way from that. And, um, you know, we got on a little bit of a roll. We were playing with, with some confidence. We were getting really good pitching. Uh, defensively, we were playing really good baseball. Uh, as well. So uh, we were excited. Uh, obviously, a lot of season left to be played. Uh, but certainly, um, you know, we were excited about the prospects of it. And, and looking around the league, you, you look around the league, there were a lot of a lot of teams in our league that were playing really good baseball early. I, I certainly think this was going to be a, a really good year for the Sun Belt as a whole. And, you know, we were excited about conference play uh, beginning and boom. Then, uh, you know, everything happened really quick, uh, you know, that Thursday before the first conference weekend. And obviously, as you mentioned earlier, you know, a lot of emotions in this process. So what are some of the things that you've talked about with your guys as you've kind of helped, you know, work with them to get for them to get used to their new normal and to help them maybe understand um, some of the things that maybe as a college student, they're not understanding that maybe you are as a head coach? Well, you know, it, it was it was tough uh, that Thursday. Like I said, things happen so quick. And I talked to some other coaches and, and we all kind of had the same feelings. Um, you know, things were happening at, at such a rapid pace. We did not have all the information initially to be able to explain it uh, to our teams. But I, I thought our kids handled it, um, you know, as well as they could. I, I think initially we were all probably in a, in a little bit of, uh, of shock. 
um, we were literally on the field practicing that Thursday afternoon um, when the NCAA released the statement, um, you know, about the cancellation of the NCAA tournament and in Omaha. So uh, I made the team aware of that uh, right after practice. We were able to gather again the next day and provide more information. And, and the things that we talked about then when that happened was, hey, guys, this is obviously a very serious thing. We don't have all the information. We don't have all the answers. We have to trust, you know, leadership, people that are making these decisions and stay positive and, um, you know, focus on the things that we can control. So that's, that's really the message now. Really, you know, tried to call at least, you know, five or six guys a day, just stay in touch uh, with our team that way and, and through group text and, you know, focus on our, our academics. That's one thing we're, we're doing classes online now and, and everyone is set up. Uh, we have great support, um, you know, on campus, uh, you know, for our guys, they're still able to do their tutoring online. And, you know, we sent workouts home. Uh, our, our strength and conditioning coach, Coach Day, uh, kind of modified those workouts where if they're working in the front yard or out of the garage, you know, there's some things they can do physically to, to try and, and stay in shape. And, and uh, you know, guys seem to be, you know, doing a pretty good job of that. And I've encouraged them to just stay connected with each other. Um, you know, the one thing I, I, I miss, and I think we all miss more than anything, is just being around each other. Uh, you know, this is a really fun group to, to coach and be around and, and, and just being around those guys every day, I, I, I think are the things that you, that you miss most right now. One piece of, you know, good information that's come out of this was that the NCAA has granted the eligibility waiver. Um, obviously, a lot more finer details will go into that. Um, but just the overall news of that, what did that mean to you and to your program? Obviously, again, you know, lots of more things to work out, but just to, to know that that option is there for your players. Well, I, I tell you, really, really glad to see um, you know, our leadership around the country vote to to give all the student athletes another year. And I, I know there's some challenges, some things to to work through, but without a doubt, I, I believe that was the right thing to do. Um, and, and actually, that Friday before we left, the NCAA also came out with a statement, uh, you know, saying that they supported that. Um, you know, so you felt like there was a good chance that that was going to happen. I, I did have an opportunity to talk to our seniors before they went home and say, hey, guys, I don't know. Here's the statement. Looks like there's a chance for this. And, and um, you know, in our situation, we have five seniors and, you know, not just good baseball players, but even better young men. And so uh, more than anything else, I wanted them to know, hey, you know, I would love for you guys to come back if, if that's the decision uh, that, that you guys uh, make if, if this all works out. So really glad to see that um, that, that decision was made. And, of course, I, I think we had full support in our league. And I think that says a lot about the Sun Belt. And, you know, we can always talk about, you know, being for the student athlete. But, you know, we, we our actions have to show it. And, and I, think, uh, I think the Sun Belt did that by, by supporting this. Absolutely. And, you know, you've talked about being at home and really putting things into perspective. And I think one thing that does get a lot of us through this, you know, terrible time is being lighthearted and having a little bit of fun, enjoying the time with your family or friends, whoever you may be sheltered in place with. So for you, you said you've cleaned out the garage and, and done basically whatever your wife's telling you to do. So I'm proud of you for that. Uh, maybe what's one thing you've learned or best, the best piece of advice that you have for all of us that are stuck at home? You know, again, I think routine's important, and, and especially, you, you know, for us as, as college baseball coaches and, and for our players, as a baseball player and a coach, you're, you're so used to the routine, especially this time of the year. So I, I think just trying to find some kind of routine that, that works, um, you know, every day I can tell you this, see, see a lot of people walking around my neighborhood right now. Uh, so I think a lot of people are taking this time physically to, to try to do something. Um, and, you know, just enjoy the time with, with family. I mean, it, it's been nice, you know, being able to sit around the table with, you know, in our case, five and our family at, at one time. We haven't, with two in college, we haven't been able to do that in, in a couple of years on a regular basis. So, 
you know, uh, I think appreciate those moments more than anything else. I've tried to have a little fun and some group text with our guys to, I, I've been, I like to get out on the back porch and fire the grill up. So I've had plenty of time to, to do that as well. I've sent a few picks out on, on our group text to, to show the guys. So uh, there, there's been some back and forth. We've had some fun with that type thing. And, and again, just trying to stay positive and, and um, you know, when you have a chance to laugh, um, you know, find some things to laugh about and smile about. Absolutely. And last question, and then I'll let you go. Hopefully you're firing up the grill later tonight. Um, you know, Georgia Southern's got a new athletic director in Jared Benko. He seems to be very involved in, in social media, so he's probably going to see this. So beware of that. Uh, you know, he got to throw out the first pitch in one of the games against Georgia. How do you evaluate his performance on the mound? What? Uh, oh, he, he laid it right in there. He threw a strike. Um, you know, Jared and I, I think Jared, it's, uh, it's awesome, ha awesome having him on board. I, I know he's excited, you know, uh, about uh, getting started. And you talk about getting thrown to the fire, uh, you know, becoming an athletic director and then having to deal with a, a, a pandemic uh, right out of the gate. Uh, but Jared has done a great job, um, you know, with his leadership through through this time and, and also our senior staff uh, as well. They they have done a really good job uh, with us as head coaches within the in the department, uh, providing us with, with information and, and supporting us and supporting our student athletes through this time. So so we're all looking forward to getting through this together and, and um, you know, hopefully uh, getting back to the point where we're all back on the fields, on the courts, and, and competing again. Well, Coach, I really appreciate it. Uh, you know, obviously, I know you miss being out on the baseball field with your guys, but again, it's a time to appreciate the time at home with family and, and maybe friends that you don't get to see as much. So, hope you're staying safe and healthy down in Statesboro, and I hope to see you sometime soon uh, in person. So, appreciate the time today, and we'll talk again soon. Well, thanks, Whitney. I, I appreciate you having me, and, um, you know, all the best to you and everybody uh, there at the Sunbelt office, and, you know, you guys stay safe. We will. Thanks, Coach.